Good morning. Uh, it's Monday the something, something. Thought I'd just pick up the camera because I haven't really recorded anything for a while and uh, thought I'd let you know what's going on. So, next year, 2019. What are these fly thingies? Oh, there's a dead body around here somewhere. Next year, 2019 is going to be my last year at work. Well, I've been there for 10 years. And, uh, time to move on. I'm still coming, coming, going to uh, Wanamaker in November. And I really, it's the thing that I'm most excited about, to be honest. I'm uh, just getting a chance to see all the YouTube dudes, all the gun channels dudes. Maybe even getting to see G's face. I'll take it to the great bonus of that, so. And I mean, just to just to visit America and see what it's like over there. Having said that, I know it's not going to be a massive culture shift or whatever, because I know that the um, you know the same thing is true of living in New Zealand and then moving to Australia. It's not like moving to Burkina Faso or something. Do you know what I mean? Like much of a muchness, but the small intricacies. Do you know what I mean? Those things. I'm also going to be. <laughs> I'm also going to be counting on the gun channels guys to uh, work out tips because uh, quick maths, it's not your boy's forte, I actually in high school, as soon as maths was an elective subject I dropped it and took an extra painting class and that's obviously served me well. I will be finishing my job as soon as I reach my 10 years long service and I'm thinking of going to work in like electronic retail because well I mean I'd love to go work in a gun store but I don't have my license I'm fairly sure it's not something you can do without a license in Australia. There's a there's a chain of stores in Australia called JB Hi-Fi. They're like your uh, best buy, you know? You know that's a lot of stuff that I'm really interested in. The only thing that could top that off is if uh, they sold comics. They do movies, uh, games electronic goods, homewares, uh, music, computers, all this kind of stuff. So, I think that might be the go. Also, it's a very kind of, uh, I mean, you go into any JB, it's a very kind of youth culture kind of orientated store. Well, I'm super old, but the kids love me. <laughs> so I feel like it could be a go. No, I can't just like say, oh, well, I'm gonna go work for this store. Like, you know, they're already gonna give me a job, but that's my preference. To be honest, um, between February and November, I'll just do whatever I have to to pay the rent and pay the bills. So, yeah, should be good. But then obviously, after November, I'll be coming home to Australia. Yes, I will be coming home to Australia. No plans to emigrate. And then I suppose that's where things get a, a little bit more complicated. This is my uh, daily routine of trying not to get run over by people who not looking where they're going. <laughs> but I got a couple of minutes before work, so I'm gonna go hang out with bad kids. Back to the point. The point was November after Oklahoma. I'm gonna come back here and I'm pretty be pretty be pretty much be collecting up all my worldly positions <laughs> which um, at that point will be Xbox, comic books, and I don't know what else. Some pop items. <laughs> Flying to New Zealand. Didn't really think I would do it, but at the moment I'm kind of like, why not? Dude, this thing's going crazy. Well, then, like, um, I 
a couple of you guys watched the, uh, the last two videos that I put up, those two little music bits. On that second one, I forgot how good those drum patterns are. I didn't even remember like how I did that, but I took some took some kind of Slipknot influence, and that one's funny. Um, I'll probably put out more of my little things like that, and actually that last song, I think I might try and actually make a full song, because really it's only that, it's just repeats over and over again. But I could probably build that out into a proper song. So um, leave me a comment if you want to see that. I don't know why you'd want to see that. But. So it's lunchtime and it is a beautiful, sunny, warm day in Brisbane. So it only stands to reason that I am going to go down into the basement. Because I'm eating my kid like that. Now that door, you gotta watch out for because more often than not, there's little kids hanging around over there. Um, I don't know how many times over the years that I've opened that door and smacked some kid in the back of the head. <sighs> well, you're not supposed to be there. So, it's your own fault, isn't it? <laughs> so it's uh, late o'clock now. Actually, I won't tell you what time it is because uh, uh, I know that Simone actually sent Simone over to my YouTube channel to have a look at the last two little videos I put up just so I could get her opinion because uh, I know uh, she'll be more critical. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, um, I am just trying to tidy up some things that work now. And, uh, But anyway, yeah, sorry, nothing video, but I just thought you might appreciate a little something that's not uh, Fortnite or bad computer music. <laughs> so, that's what you get, unfortunately. That's all you get. So, uh, anyway, God bless. Look after each other, and uh, we'll see you when we see ya. So, just a little addendum to what I was saying when I was at work. I, um, I finished what I was doing and then, I don't know, I, I got changed and I put my wallet down somewhere and then I left and the door that I leave out of the back is a fire escape and I, none of my keys open that door and there's two roller doors that got pulled down out the front where people actually walk in. So, I had to text Simone to um, come back into the city and give us a lift. So I doubt she's going to be too impressed about that. But anyway, that's the real end of the vlog. <laughs> so I'm just sitting around waiting for her to get here. So I can enjoy that uh, awkward ride home. She's not here yet. Anyway. <laughs>